an immigration crisis of a scale not seen by the United States in recent history has struck the country's southern border since Joe Biden took over as president and the Biden administration only recently hit the panic button to control the unprecedented illegal immigrant surge. Simultaneously, however, Biden's stooges are also saying that the upsurge along the US-Mexico border is because of the president's unparalleled humanism and love for illegal infiltrators. In fact, the romanticism is unbearable. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Sanbir Singh and in this video, we talk about how a prominent official from the Biden administration has tried to connect the immigration crisis with the large-heartedness of the current president who has thrown open the country's borders for hordes of illegal immigrants. Yes. Our policies are creating a tsunami of illegal immigrants. This is the Biden administration's straightforward and unabashed admission about bungling border management. President Joe Biden's southern border czar Roberta Jacobson said that it was not a coincidence that border crossing attempts spiked after Biden's accession to power. But Jacobson gives a poetic rationale for Biden's failure. In what can be described as nothing but plain and simple romanticism, the southern border coordinator said, we've seen surges before. Surges tend to respond to hope and there was significant hope for a more humane policy after four years of pent-up demand. Jacobson concluded there was a hope for a more humane policy after four years of pent-up demand. So, I don't know if I could call that a coincidence. Can you believe it? Biden's southern border czar actually has a rationale for the ongoing border chaos, which has been admittedly triggered by the US president's imprudent policies. The sham justification is that much more preposterous because it comes from someone engaged in management of American borders. How can a border coordinator find a poetic explanation for chaotic immigration? But wait, Jacobson went a step further and also explained how Biden's humanism led to smugglers spreading disinformation. She said, but the idea that a more humane policy would be in place may have driven people to make that decision. But perhaps, more importantly, it definitely drove smugglers to express disinformation, spread disinformation about what was now possible. So, the Biden administration is shamelessly admitting and justifying its blunders. So, if we decode what Jacobson said, Biden's policies are admittedly causing a spike in the number of illegal immigrants entering the US. This is actually true. Biden's rise to power has instantly led to an unsustainable spike in illegal immigration. 80,000 people tried to cross the border illegally in January this year. The number is almost double as compared with January a year ago. And the peak travelling season hasn't even started yet. In the months of May and June, the number of illegal crossings is bound to spiral even more dramatically. She is also right about how the spike in illegal immigration is no coincidence. Biden is actually reversing all of Trump's policies, which had reduced the permeability of the US-Mexico border. For starters, Biden is defanging the US immigration and customs enforcement. Then, the sitting US president has also allowed unaccompanied minors to cross over to the United States. This is, of course, an incentive for families to infiltrate their minor children into the US because they know that minors won't be turned back. Finally, Biden has ended Trump's migration protection protocols, which was more famously known as Remain in Mexico. This practice mandated Central American migrants to stay outside the US while their asylum claims underwent adjudication. By trashing migration protection protocols, Biden is going to let migrants into the US while their asylum claims get adjudicated. This is yet another incentive causing the ongoing migration surge. Biden's southern border coordinator is also right about smugglers. As per Reuters, even the Mexican government is worried about how Biden's policies are encouraging cartels. A Mexican official speaking on the condition of anonymity told Reuters that organized crime began changing its modus operandi from the day Biden took office. The official added, migrants have become a commodity. The Mexican official feels that migrants are now used as drugs for the gangs. 
He also said, but if a packet of drugs is lost in the sea, it's gone. If migrants are lost, it's human beings we're talking about. It is pretty simple actually. Biden is lifting restrictions on illegal immigration, which is causing a higher concentration of immigrants on the US-Mexico border. With ICE getting defanged, the American authorities are getting overwhelmed, and so the smuggler gangs and cartels also feel that this is the time to slip in more migrants. As per Cesar Peniche, Attorney General of Chihuahua, the Mexican state that shares the longest border with the US, higher concentration of migrations in bordering areas has encouraged gangs who are now recruiting people as drug mules and kidnapping others for money. So, Biden's policies are facilitating cross-border crimes, smuggling, drug trade and encouraging organized crimes. So, yes, Biden's southern border czar is right when she admits how the change in regime at the White House has led to the border chaos. What however remains problematic is that Jacobson has a poetic explanation for everything. Americans are supposed to accept illegal immigration, drug trade, smuggling of migrants, car chases involving migrants and organized crime as a manifestation of Biden's humanism. Jacobson's explanation is absurd, but her admission also shows how Biden's open border policies are doing more harm than good.